What is up Japan? We out here today at 7-Eleven. Today we're about to do a little mukbang. I'm about to go inside 7-Eleven, eat all the different types of food in here. If you know anything about 7-Eleven or anything about like just the convenience stores in these Asian countries, specifically Japan, is that they have extremely great food. It's not like the 7-Eleven food that you get in the United States where you're eating a pizza and a chili dog and a taquito. It is elite stuff that you can eat like egg sandwiches, freaking sushi, all different types of stuff. So I'm going to try a bunch of stuff, let you guys see what we got going on and get the stuff cracking it should be like a super lit video hope you guys enjoy all right we got a million snacks and things like right here i probably won't go through the snacks first we got a million chips and just different things of that nature i'm not sure which ones of these one i want to try but i definitely want to go into like the food food part first we can't start with the junk food office it's gonna be my breakfast of the day first things first we're gonna make sure we have some of this matcha this looks delicious and we also have, let's try some of this vitamin C drink. This orange juice looks pretty good. Let's try this one. Next, we have all these different types of foods. Should we go with the roasted pork belly? Or should we go with the pork and potatoes? Giblets and stew. I don't even know what pork giblets are. I'm not trying that one. Let's also try, let's try a hamburger steak. Uh oh, that sounds good. Next, let's try this imitation crab. Let's get one of these. Next for our salad, we definitely gotta make sure we get some cabbage. Sauce for, we gotta get some sauce for the cabbage. And some cabbage. What one meal should we get? Should we get the, should we get the macaroni with bacon? Or should we get the octopus salad? Hmm. Let's do the octopus salad and the bacon. And of course, I gotta get the Japan staple, the egg salad sandwich. This is an absolute must. We're definitely grabbing one of these. All right, and then my personal favorite are all the onigiris, which are the rice balls. I'll have a tuna with mayo. These are so fresh here. I'll have one of these. Of course, for my coffee, you definitely need to get the ice. For dessert, we'll get a chocolate cream puff. They got mini croissants, tomato pizza buns. These low look kind of gas. Maybe I should try these. Or you know what? Maybe I should try the rice cake dumplings. You want any of these? You want a, you want a pork sausage? A glizzy? The tomato sauce? Cool off that one. You gonna try it? Or are you gonna make some ramen, huh? Yeah, I am. Smart. I got the curry one, but I got the 7 Eleven brand. That's cool. Let's try it. Let's definitely try that one. Damn. Why did you get cabbage? I'm making a salad. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with salad? No, nothing. I she has an issue with being healthy, guys. <laughs> Alright, you ready for the mukbang? Yeah. So we got all this food together. Let's see what we're bagging up. This is the total for everything, which is, let's see, what is it, four, five, six, five, zero, six, zero. How much food, how much is this? $32 we spent, and we got all that food. All right, so we just got all this food. We're about to go head back to the crib because we have so much stuff. I look, you want to bust all this stuff open and just try, try it all, so, um, yeah. All right, so let's do some unboxing. I'm about to show you everything that we got from the 7-Eleven, just do a real quick pickup. You guys saw us shopping, so. We're gonna get this up cracking. So first we got the ice which is ready for this, uh, ready for the matcha that we got. Inside this we got, I think this is, what is this, the, the croquet? Yeah. The croquet. Um, we got, for dessert, we've got a custard cream puff with chocolate. We got um, curry ramen noodles. I got the orange juice, I wanted to try this. I think actually this is mango juice, nice and fresh. We got the ham, fresh ham. We got pancakes with cream cheese. I guess the pancakes already have the cream cheese on the inside of it. Let's see, we got a hash brown from the hot section. We got a corn dog from the hot section. We got, the corn dog comes with sauce. We got the ketchup and mustard on each side. We got a onigiri, which is mayonnaise and shrimp. 
And we also got a tuna and mayonnaise onigiri, which is like a rice ball, rice cake dumplings, crab stick, and a bunch of other things. Let's see real quick. So of course we got Rena's favorite, which is the egg salad sandwich, which is the deluxe one. And we got the regular egg salad sandwich. Two 7-Eleven staples. Let me see what else we got. We got the macaroni with bacon. We got the broccoli with octopus. This is gonna be nuts. Let's jump right into this. I'm gonna tell you guys how everything tastes and you're gonna get to see what's cracking. What do you wanna start off with? I'm not gonna start with the egg salad sandwich. Yeah, I wanna start off with the egg salad sandwich. All right, we got the egg salad sandwich first. We got the deluxe one and the regular one. You open that one out with this one? Yeah, let's go. Toasted. Hmm. Pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna try the last one. This is just mm. taste like. These are really good. I'm gonna put it together next to You gonna just buy, triple deck and bite? Yeah. Hmm. Let's try it with him. Yeah. All right, I'm trying the deluxe one. All right, so why not to give it a rating? I also had egg salad sandwich, the regular one. I give it like a seven out of 10, is that one? Mm -hmm. I give the regular one a seven out of 10, but the one with the egg and stuff like that is definitely like a good eight out of 10. All right, next we have the broccoli and basil with octopus salad. It like smells pretty good though. It has octopus, broccoli, basil, edamame. Let's try it. Okay, the broccoli and the octopus on one bite. So you guys can see this chat. Mmm. This shit will be on fire. Mmm. It is good. I think it needs a little bit like of a it needs like a more tangy dressing. I agree, it needs more dressing, but it's actually pretty fire. It's like a good snack. Mm-hmm. What is a good snack? I give that one a seven out of 10 also too. We like a 7.5, honestly, because it's not, it's very fresh. Tastes yeah. really good. I wasn't expecting octopus from 7-Eleven to taste very good. Next we got, we gotta put these in the microwave. Um, let's see, what can we do? Oh, let's do this one, I wanna try this one. What is that? Okay, this is a curry cheese patty. Mmm, smell it. it. Smells fried. Oh, well, you gotta do the pool in front of the camera. Um. Anticlimactic. <laughs> Here. I see, so we have the curry cheese patty. What's that thing right open? It actually, it actually smells really good when you open it. Mm-hmm, it does. Damn, it smells fire like some... Mm. Actually, guys. Mmm. That is good. That's very good. I'm a 9 out of 10 for sure. It's like cheesy, or bread is spicy. Mm, curry chicken on the inside or just curry. It's not good, guys. That is so good. 9 out of 10 for sure. Next thing we have is the 7 Eleven broccoli with bacon. Broccoli with bacon. I don't know why I got this, but I was curious. It's broccoli, bacon, no, macaroni, bacon, vegetables, and mayonnaise. Yeah. You open it. All right, let's try this one. It smells like bacon. The one gripe I have with, with Asian bacon is that it's never cooked like American bacon where it's well done. It's always medium rare bacon, and that's not my favorite. But this has mayonnaise. It looks like it's very seasoned really well. It looks very tasty. Let's, let's go in. <clears throat> nice little forkful. I know the long ass macaroni and cheese. This is like long macaroni with like, it's almost like coleslaw in the macaroni. With the seasoning. This looks pretty good though. It does look good. Mmm. I want macaroni salad. I want more macaroni than I do bacon. 
Mm, no dá. That's really good. It's really good. I'm gonna take one more bite. Mmm. I'll give that eight out, an eight out of ten. Good eight out of ten. I agree. No more? No, it's fine. Okay, he got this iced coffee with matcha. I'm excited to try it because I like matcha more now, but. It's so convenient how to have the ice, the ice cubes just at the store for you to like chop on. Okay, so I can't open this. I'm just. Ugh. Good enough. <clears throat> Take it away. All right. It's pretty tasty. Cheers, chat. It's actually good as matcha. No, like, really? It's better than like, like California matcha. Really? Yes. This is from a from a cup in 7-Eleven. Dang. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, it is good. Very good. I like it a lot because it's like milky. Yeah. yeah, boy. She drinks milk, guys, on the cow. You drink cow milk, too? Not anymore. <laughs> when did you stop? Yesterday? No, I drink oat milk now. Mm. Sometimes, occasionally. All right, what's next? That was really good though. <clears throat> okay, next is the corn dog. I'll have to give that, I'll give that like a nine out of 10, honestly. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Corn dog. Wait, oh wait. One thing about me, I need my ketchup. Hold it real quick. Yeah, I'll hold the corn dog. I mean, you can try it if you want. Yeah, hold the corn dog. I'll just take a big ass bite of this shit. Pause. I'm gonna open this. Uh, I don't know, you fold it in half? If you're gonna do it for TikTok, you should take a bite first. Just no, sauce. Just no sauce. <gasps> There's no sauce. Just no sauce. That's why you busted all over you. <laughs> Damn, that's tight how when you squeeze it, both of them come out at the same time. Mm. It's just a regular corn dog. Really? Nothing special. No mayonnaise? Absolutely no mayonnaise. I mean, not mayonnaise. I'm ketchup? Mm. I'm not a corn dog fan. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10. I would give it a... Mm, cool off that. Mm -mm. Here. I would give it a... 5 out of 10. Mm -mm, not for me. Alright, let's try. Let's be. Not, let's get the other basics out of the way. Let's get the hash brown going. No crunch at all. No crunch. Uh uh. That, I don't even think, no matter how long that sat, that was not it. That's the one. I think fresh out could have been cool. One out of 10 for that one for sure. Let's try, let's make the ramen, the noodles. The, the water's ready. I'm excited about this one. We are going to try the curry noodle ramen next. Curry noodle ramen? No, open it up. Mm -hmm. Looks hella seasoned. Smells good. One thing about Japan, surprisingly, there's so much Indian food out here. Like, and you also got curries, Japanese curries, all different types of stuff. All right, let's pour that in there. Lay back on the rubber. Put like the water around it. Okay, okay. My bad, I'm not a ramen expert. I am. In the meantime, can we try the ham? Yeah, while we let the ramen get ready, what are we trying the ham with? By itself. All right, random street ham, got it. Let's go. I love ham. Let's go. Okay, we're trying this ham next. And I only have one minute left, so I'm gonna try to do this really fast. This looks like prosciutto. Mmm, smells like bacon. All right, so now we got random ham. Pretty good, but lacks flavor. Random ham. I'll give that a five out of 10. It's not it for me. I'm gonna say three. <laughs> let's have, let's try some rice cake dumplings. <clears throat> okay. The rice cake dumplings next. 
I think they're like kind of sweet and soft, so we'll see. Okay, rice cake dumpling next. Cheers. You're getting stuck together. Sword fight? <laughs> Alright. Mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't like chewy foods. It's... Yeah, no, it's just not for me. Not my vibe. I'll give that a three. All right, next we got, while we let the ramen cook, we got the pancakes. <clears throat> pancakes with cream cheese. I do not like cream cheese. Actually, I like cream cheese bagel, but not a pancake. Mm -hmm. They're literally just pancakes. They're a little like, a little pale for me. I'm more of like a crispy pancake kind of guy, but um, definitely try this, see what it's like. Let's open it up. Mmm, smells good. Smells really good. Mm -hmm. On the inside, you can see all the cream cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's for me. Little one. Oh, wait, let's try the ramen. Alright. I got this ramen. <coughs> Raymond noodles. The Raymond noodles. Alright, let's try it. It's hot. Let's try this broth first. Honestly, it has a lot of curry flavor, I'm not gonna lie. The broth does at least. Try the mix. Mm. Mm. Let me be honest with you. It's mm. very flavorful, but I'm not a really big ramen guy. So, I mean, or like, you know, you're not a like cheap ramen. I don't like ramen in general, hardly. Mm. So for me, I, I'm gonna give that like a. <clears throat> I give it like a five out of ten. Because the flavor is good, but I'm not, it's not my favorite. Mm. We should low key throw an imitation crab inside of it. Random crab stick. Mm -hmm. Ew. Ew. Mm. Okay. Wait, because I don't want it to taste like crab. I'm not gonna lie, with the crab stick, with the ramen, does not add any flavor. But the crab stick itself is very fresh. There we go. Mm, try it. Can I try this first? Let's taste this. No. I don't want to try I want to try this first. That just looks off. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Here comes the playing. <laughs> Y'all see how annoying he is? Hella annoying. Now try it. I'm good. I'm gonna give the crab stick a seven out of ten. Really? Yeah. And then we also got the onigiris. We got the tuna with mayo and shrimp with mayo. Both of these are like extremely fresh. It's like sushi. You want to open one? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. You drop the drop the meat. Look, you gotta start with the top part first. Number one. Yes, I have learned from the best. Once you pull number one off all the way, then you pull off number two. And then number three, and boom. You got perfect rice ball, like an anime. I think you look, you fumbled on yours a little bit. Per usual. Take a bite, toast them. Mm. Not bad, this is my favorite thing to eat from 7 Eleven, so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Let's try this one too. Mmm. The shrimp one is fine, it has big chunks of shrimp inside of it, but... The shrimp one is good, but this one is better. I'm telling you, tuna mayo for the win. 10 mm -hmm. out of 10. The tuna mayo is definitely better. And then last but not least, we're going to end off with some dessert. And we got the cream puff with chocolate. If you've seen any anime, you already know they love their cream puff in Japan. She loves dessert, so we'll see how this is. This one actually looks very fine. <clears throat> you know my favorite dessert is though? Me. I was gonna say ice cream. Oh. Uh, Should we bite it at the same time? No. Okay. You can try it first. Just take one. No, it's fine. Try it. I don't like desserts. You like desserts. Yeah, but I wanna like get the middle. I don't want the whole bread part. So should I just take this big ass cream puff bite, y'all? Oh, you washing it all. Oh, pause. No, you did not. No, pause. No, Can't you did it. not. Can't do it. Here. 
What in the Mm-mm. hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you should have been it first. Mm-mm. <laughs> what is wrong? I'm not gonna lie, bro. This shit actually is kind of borrowed. Why didn't you just bite it all the way through? Bro, because that shit busted my mouth and I'm not used to shit like that. That shit busted all over your face. God, it tastes amazing. Nigga, this shit is everywhere. I'm about to, I'm about to clean it up. I got, man, look at what's on my hands. It look like I've been doing the dirty. <clears throat> hmm. I actually taste like, I'm not pretty far, I'm not online. Are you done? I'm done. No, mm-mm. Them booty fingers away from me. All right, well, if I had to give everything like a, a smooth rating, I'd say, I'm not gonna lie, some of the stuff really surprised me that croquette was the, the curry croquette was the number one thing that we had, definitely. I say if I had to say number two, uh, what would you say number two was? Number two was the deluxe egg salad sandwich. Yeah, deluxe egg salad sandwich was number two. Then the fucking, um, what else was really fire? The mm-hmm. macaroni was fire, the broccoli was fire. I'm not gonna lie, I'm four for four because I picked all those out, just saying. I mean, you picked out way more than just that. I'm saying, oh, I Oh, all the fire things that are fire? Okay, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. Four, all right, y'all, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That's all the mukbang. Let me know if we should go to McDonald's next. Uh, or what? Where should we end up next? We should just try it out. Uh, all right, peace. Mukbang. What the fuck? Swipe up to subscribe. Follow if you like Jordan Bentley. Okay, bye.